All right, I got another bunch of random coins. Uh, these are all from, um, well, one of the banks, I got all the dimes. Um, around half the nickels, I got these quarters. Um, and all these loose half dollars and dollar coins at um, one, of the, one bank today. And then these pennies I got at another branch or another bank. And these are interesting. So um, a couple weekends ago, I got um, $75 in customer wrapped pennies. And they all had the Sharpie mark on them. And I was just going to sift through them. Because I didn't think there were going to be any, any wheat pennies in there. I thought they were just all hunted already. And so I was looking through a couple of the rolls. And to my surprise, I saw a couple of wheat backs. So I held on to these. I don't remember which rolls they were in. So I'm going to look through all of them. There's a little over $10. There's like looks like $12 in pennies there. Uh, these ones were okay. Um, these ones I got at another bank. Um, and I do know that there is a 1942 Wheat Penny Ender on one of these. I don't remember which one it is. Um, and I know that in the half dollars, I did see a NIFC in the half dollars. Looks like it's right there, actually. 2008. Uh, the half dollars actually look pretty nice, too. So there's an NIFC right there. I know that there's another NIFC in the dollar coins. So I'll get to those first, and we'll look through those live real quick. All right, so let's look at these real quick. Um, I think this one might be, nope. It's a really nice 1996. That kind of looks like a proof. It's not a proof, but wow, that's a, that's a nice coin. Most of these half dollars are actually pretty nice. There's a nice 95. Here's uh, one of the, I think, I, this is the only NIFC that I saw, but it, we did get a 2008 Denver. So I'll take it. There's an 85, 92. Um, there's a 2000. I don't know. I might keep that 1996. Um, it really does look proof like. There's a nice 1990. Um, 2001, 92. And 84. 84's in good shape too. I'll check a couple of those against my book. Um... And then I'm trying to find out, I think it's this one? Yeah, it's this one. This is an NIFC. I saw this as I was getting them. Treaty of the Delawares. Uh, it is a 2013 Philadelphia Position B. Um, and if you don't know what that means, it's um, how that, uh, which way the edge lettering is facing um, to the coin. So if the edge lettering is upside down, to the um, portrait of, you know, if it's either, or the portrait to Sacagawea, it's, if it's upside down, it's position B, and if it's facing that way, it's position A. So, position B, 2013, this is a cool NFC. I already have this one, but I'll take it. That's a pretty cool little score in the loose dollars. Um, I don't see anything else in here. I've got a couple 79s, that one's a Denver. No wide rims today. Um, I did get... I have uh, found a few of the wide rims, actually, but nothing... Oh, is this one? No, 2000. All right, that should be it for the dollar coins. Um, let's do... Let's actually do the pennies next. Um, and even though I know I saw a couple of wheat pennies in there, I'm still going to rip through them pretty quick because I don't expect a ton. So, let's get started. All right, well, here's one of the ones I saw, and uh, it's an oldie. Night... 1936, San Francisco, it's in beat up shape, but that's an oldie, I'll take it, let's keep going. Alright, I'm going to open this last roll of these marked pennies live, because I know that this one has the other wheat pennies in it, and I've gone through all the other rolls, and it's not in there, so it must be in here, yep, right here. 1951, I think that's an S, yep, 1951 S, alright, that's weedy number two, now we're moving on to um, some more normal rolls, alright, I'm on the second of these rolls, and I see a wheat penny right here, 1956 Philadelphia, 
All right, I don't see anything else in here, so we'll keep going. All right, very next roll, we got another one. It could be older. Not really, but we have a 1946 out of San Francisco. All right, these rolls have been doing good so far. Let's keep going. All right, we got our first two foreign coins. Um, in the back of this roll, I saw two Canadian pennies. This one, 1973. And then this one looks like a newer one, 1998. All right, let's keep going. All right, so I got to the ender. And I don't know if you can see, but it's a 1942. Couldn't get it out. All right. There we go. Second oldest of the hunt so far. Let's just dump this out. I don't see any more. But we'll keep going. All right, I got another foreign. I got three rolls left. 1980. All right, let's keep going. All right, I'm on the second to last roll, and I see another weedy right here. Another 56, this time out of Denver. All right, we got one more roll left. Let's keep going. All right, I'm in the second roll of nickels, and almost on the end, we got a 1958 out of Denver. Let's keep going. All right, well, this is very odd. Um, I don't actually have any fines in this roll, but I dumped it out, and all of these nickels are absolutely beautiful 1999 Denvers. I'm thinking someone probably cracked this out of a, a mint set, or out of a roll, an uncirculated roll, because look at these. All of these are beautiful 1999 Denvers. I'm going to pull one example out of here, um, and I'll probably keep, I don't know, might keep that one. And, uh, that is very odd, but we have four more rolls of nickels to go. All right, I got, including this one, I got three rolls left, um, and I got a Canadian. 1988. All right, we'll keep going. All right, I saw this one right here. It looked old. It's pretty beat up, but we got a 1941. 1941 Denver. All right, we'll keep going. All right, guys, last roll of quarters. Um, I was losing hope because I didn't think we were going to get anything. And then I just saw this. We have a West Point. Uh, it is a 2020, it is a 2019 because there's no uh, privy mark. And um, if there was a privy mark, um, it would be right here. And for those who don't know, it signifies the uh, 70, well, at the time, 2020, the 75th anniversary of World War II. Um, most people don't explain that, so I thought I would. Let's see what it is. We're in the Pacific. I seem to find these the most. Um, haven't been finding them lately, but I'll take a W all day long. All right. I did not think we would get anything in the quarters, um, but that is an awesome find. So... I'll get you guys a recap in a minute. All right, so we finished hunting all those rolls, and um, this was a good hunt. Um, we didn't get any silver, um, but we got some good stuff, and uh, everything produced something except for the dimes. Um, we got skunked once again on the dimes, but this was a good hunt. I didn't expect it to be as good as it was, um, mainly because... Um, we had, like, so little quarters, we didn't have many dimes to look at, not too many nickels. Um, so starting at the bottom, we got the, uh, for the pennies, we got three foreigns here. Um, all three were Canadian. Um, two of them are copper, the, uh, 73 and 80 are copper, and then the 1998, uh, is not copper. I think it's either steel or zinc. Um, and then for the Wheaties, we got five... Um, two out of these uh, rolls, which I knew about. We had the Ender, which I knew about. Um, but we got a 56 Philly, a 56 Denver, um, a 51, which I think is an S. Um, it has some stuff on it right where the mint mark would be, but I think it's an S, I'm pretty sure. We got a 46 that is a San Francisco. We got the Ender, which was a 42 Philly. And our oldest Wheat Penny 
which is a 1936 San Francisco. It's kind of hard to see the kind of hard to see the mint mark, but I don't know if I can get it so you guys can see it. But 36s, so that's our oldest wheat penny that we got of the rolls. Um, and as far as the quarters go, we did get one find, which is an awesome find. We got a 2019 West Point, not in the best condition, but, I mean, you know, it doesn't really matter. This is a $10 coin. Um, I actually thought it had a privy mark, because there were some scratches where it would be, but I'll take this. I um, This is my fifth one, fourth or fifth one of the year, um, so I'll take that all day. That was an awesome, That's an awesome find. Uh, we got that one NIFC. From the dollar coins, Treaty of the Delawares, right there. That's a really cool design as well. Um, and then the one NIFC from the half dollars, 2008 Denver. So, awesome, awesome hunts. I'll take it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.